If you've ever seen a, a seashell, you will notice how hard and strong and resilient kind of that material is in its environment. This is a regular seashell. If we zoom in under microscope, we are seeing this. The thin white vein is protein, which is the soft organic material. The brick is calcite, an inorganic hard material. When this alternating soft and hard material stack together, it creates a very strong material, which is over 1,000 times tougher than the inorganic material, calcite. This uh, uh, concept of a seashell nanocomposite coating was truly uh, bio-inspired. The organic um, achieved the layer to absorb energy. The overall structure um, behaves as a um, energy absorber and uh, help to uh, deflect the cracking and uh, slow down the uh, crack um, uh, propagation. To biomimic seashell inorganic organic layered structure, we use tetraethyl orthosilicate, TEOS, as the silica precursor for inorganic material. TEOS forms stable silica framework after hydrolysis and condensation. For the organic soft layer, we use sugar which will eventually be converted into carbon black after pyrolysis to form aromatic carbon sheets. We alternate coating silica and sugar layers. Once all the layers were completed, the composite was then placed into a tube furnace under vacuum for final high temperature calcination at over 700 degrees Celsius for a few hours. The thickness of carbon layer in the final composite is about 10 to 20 nanometers, which is 5,000 times thinner than the thickness of a human hair. The silica layer is 25 to 70 times thicker than the carbon layer. The innovative post-coating thermal treatment plays an important role in solidifying the composite coatings while initiating cross-linking stimulates chemical cross-linking between the silica layers and sugar-derived carbon layers. Infrared spectra show chemical cross-linking of SiO with carbon ring and Si with carbon ring. The silica and carbon layers are glued together by these chemical cross-linkings. To test the real-world application of these coatings, we expose them to degree generated on the Z-Machine. The Z-Machine is the world's most powerful pulsed power facility and is capable of delivering energy equal to a few sticks of dynamite to a target the size of a pencil eraser. When Z fires, this energy is turned into X-rays and generates hypervelocity debris which will penetrate steel plates and destroy samples and diagnostics within the chamber. Z offers a unique opportunity to test our coatings. On Z ride-along test, we placed the coating approximately 10 millimeters in front of the witness polyethylene PE layer. We then measure the deformation of the PE layer to evaluate how effective the protection is. Note, more deformation means less protection. The deformation of PE layer behind a bare silicon substrate is 14 times more than a 45 micron thick coating. Our ride-along tests demonstrated that the coated samples significantly performed their uncoated controls. What that means is when we look at a witness plate, we are able to see no deformation behind the coated sample. So then we can take this technology and fabricate debris shields for a cassette such as this, which where we will test a real sample and experiments on the Z-Machine or other pulse power facilities. Additionally, the debris environment for these for the Z-Machine is very similar to near-Earth orbit, so we can expand this to micrometeoroid and orbital debris shielding, and we are currently working for doing that with NASA to help protect spacecraft and satellites. So we see this material really uh, being effective and important to uh, the space environment for debris shielding and also for pulse power facilities.